Hi, in this tutorial we are going to solve a question related to drawing skeletal structures. If you are given ball and stick model of a molecule, you can draw skeletal structure using the same rules. Let's start solving the question. The question asks you, uh, the following model is a representation of ibofren, a common over-the-counter pain reliever. Indicate the positions of the multiple bones and draw a skeletal structure. And the questions give you the color code of each uh, atoms as balls. Gray is carbon, uh, oxygen is red, uh, hydrogens are ivory color. Okay, let's start drawing a skeletal structure. Uh, I prefer drawing skeletal structure uh, skeletal structures starting from uh, middle parts, but it is not a necessary step uh, for drawing. You can uh, either start from the left end or right end of the molecule, but uh, since uh, I can see a ring uh, in the middle of the molecule uh, with one, two, three, four, five, six uh, bond, uh, so we can draw the middle uh, part of the molecule as a, as a ring uh, with a six carbon which you have to do as an hexagon. So let's uh, start drawing the molecule here. Okay, we have drawn six uh, lines uh, for six bonds. Then uh, we can go to right side of the molecule. There is a carbon-carbon bond, a line here, and there is another carbon-carbon bond next to it, a line up and uh, uh, from the same carbon we have another carbon carbon mode which is going down you can follow the directions and then from this carbon we have two oxygen atoms connected and this part is pretty much finished let's go to the left part of the molecule uh, from the ring we have another carbon carbon bond uh, going right way and we have ca another carbon carbon bond this way and the last carbon carbon bond and this carbon has a graft uh, an attachment point here another carbon it's a branch so we can draw also that bond as a line and then uh, you have to uh, follow a uh, couple of rules in order to f uh, finish your skeletal structure. We don't show carbons, we don't show hydrogens in general, but if there are hydrogens attached to uh, other elements rather than carbon, you have to show them. For example, here there's an oxygen, we have to show this uh, oxygen-hydrogen bond. Oxygen, let's specify oxygens then we have to show uh, oxygen hydrogen uh, bond and then uh, the question also s uh, ask you to place the uh, multiple bonds uh, uh, the golden rule is uh, carbon should make four bonds in total and let's look at here in the ring all the carbons are making uh, three bonds uh, and apparently there should be a double bond here to make octet for this carbon and the next one is single but the next bond has to be double and the next bond uh, is single and double then uh, let's check uh, uh, if, if we have any other missing multiple bonds uh, if you look at this end of the molecule there is a single bond between uh, all carbon and oxygen and this bond has to be double uh, for for high for oxygen to have octet, uh, then uh, if we look at other parts of other parts of the molecules, I guess pretty much uh, the skeletal structure is finished. Uh, one more thing you can also add as an exercise here: we can place also uh, non-bonded uh, non-bonded electrons as uh, or lone pair electrons uh, to be able to. Uh, count eight electrons for each element for example oxygen has here two bonds two single bonds meaning that it has four electrons so we can place two lone pairs for this oxygen it has a double bond meaning that it has four electrons uh, we can also place two more lone pairs electrons so it has eight electrons and apart from that uh, pretty much the skeletal structure is finished
thank you so much.